How's it going guys? This is me, Michael Angel, aka Sturban Life. So today, story, we're gonna be explaining more about my personal life towards one of my friend or who I met, my new co-worker in a way, because I'm finally interning on videography and sales. So basically what I'm gonna be doing more is more videography, editing, work, because I love it. I love vlogging and then I love editing, you know? So in this video, this person doesn't know who I am, and she's actually trying to be a uh, what's that called? Word called psychologist. There we go. There you go. So she was just giving me some pointers and everything else. It's gonna be really informal. It's gonna be talking about my life and how I'm like at a peak right now where I don't know where I want to be. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and please subscribe to me if you love all my content video on all my motivation and inspirational stuff moving up in life trying to do whatever it takes to get up there you know and if you really did like this video too give me a thumbs up and like once again just subscribe yeah I honestly don't know where I'm gonna go towards right now I'm very sad upset I'm saying it no oh, they're vlogging right now Psychologist. Oh really? Yeah. Go lay down on that couch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lay down that couch and you're gonna tell me you what's wrong head. with me. Well, you got, you got until 120 because I gotta go to work. 120, okay. Then you're here for even shorter. They had to put me with meatball. Like meatball? No volleyball. No oh, volleyball. I have, uh. to, I have to do the rental for volleyball. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I, I can't go push myself anymore. I just hit my peak. Why is that? Probably because I just gave up. Why, uh, like, why I mean, I don't want to give up because I know I can push myself a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's just... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is that in terms of life or is that for your workout? Uh, life and workout. Like, I don't I know where I want to head. I know exactly how you feel. There's a gentleman I met. He has no legs and no arms. He walks on two prosthetic legs, and both of his hands are claws. And mm -hmm. this guy is one of the most successful people I've met in my life. And really? It's funny because I run into him in the library. It's at the Southwest College at downtown, and it's it's crazy how like when he wanted to give up, and his sister was on cancer, like like on, on her deathbed, she was like, "Can't give up." You know, you need to succeed for other people to realize that they too can succeed. And mm -hmm. that's the hardest part is that there's going to be a time in your life when you realize it's not even about you anymore. It's about the people around you that need you to be there. And I'm just like. Yeah, that, that's where I'm at currently because like I know I should be pushing myself because I know other people are looking up to me But it's kind of hard at the same time because I'm just starting to like see that I can't push myself like it's like harder and harder I'm getting to that point where I'm like crawling on my knees trying to succeed and become something different Yeah, so I met up with my trainer today, right? Like, he's actually seeing, I, I did grow, I didn't even know, realize, I grew up like a pound, a pound of muscle, and then, but I gained like, body fat, because I went all out crazy on San Jose, eating nasty, nasty. <laughs> Dude, the bobo there is so good. So good? So good. Mm. So did you good. you go to bobo guys? No. Nah. I hear they call it, I hear they call it, uh, bubble tea. Is that true? No, they only bubble go tea. East Coast. Bubble tea. But yeah, dude, nature is there, so nice, pretty. <sighs> Love it. I need you. I'm just trying to help it. I'm being a therapist real quick. <laughs> okay. Therapist for me. But you know, overall, if you're not happy with yourself, you shouldn't push yourself. You know? Because, like, if you're not content with yourself and where you're at right now, you're just going to keep yourself. Keep making yourself more unhappy by pushing yourself to something that you, you don't want to be right now. So it's better to just like take some time aside to yourself, reevaluate yourself. How would I do that? You get away from the world. Get away from the world for a little bit. And I mean, I know you just went through a breakup as well, right? Yeah. It's, it's good. There's like a, there's like a rule. You have one month to cry. And then you have to like 
get back on your feet after that one month because you can't sit down and like cry all the time because you know mm-hmm. breakup is a breakup and I like to see it in this way it's like God saying you know that person wasn't right for you you know mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to love yourself first before you can do anything else you know <laughs> well I like this it's true <laughs> but it's true like you have to love yourself it's like, you just need to love yourself before you can love anybody else. So, take take a step back, reevaluate what you want to do, like your life goals and everything, this, this, and this. What makes you happy? What, not, what doesn't make you happy? And then from there, you can slowly, like, bring yourself back up again. Yeah. I'll see. Cause it's, it, it's like, because life has a bunch of, like, challenges, you know? And it's for you to get over that challenge, but if you're not mentally okay to go over that challenge, how are you going to get over it? You know? What if you grew up with people always leaving you all the time? How do you deal with that? Mm. That's the main reason why I get upset. I get scared all the time because mm. I always put all my heart into someone and they always leave. Like. I, no matter how hard I tried to change how I am, because I changed multiple ways from while growing up. Mm-hmm. I tried becoming someone better instead of someone who greeds for more like negative stuff. Like you don't know me, they they probably know my story already. But I grew up without knowing. I grew up without my parents being around me. I grew up. Um, I posted in my Instagram a while ago when I was six years old. I would go to school alone. I wake up in the morning. I put my own clothes on. They would leave food on the table for me, which is good, I guess. Mm-hmm. Eat that and wait for the bus. Like lock the door. And I was six years old already with a key in the house, you know. And it's even worse how elementary school. I would always assume that's my safe way. Like how I told my story to you, Jason. Like the one of the writing. Yeah. About home, how I said playground was my safe. Yeah. But it wasn't because I got beat up. Okay. So kids would pick on me and all everything. Mm-hmm. It's just got to a point where I know who I am and I know why I do certain reason. Sometimes I don't realize it because it happens to me in my past. The way why I tend to try always to get new friends because I, I'm scared of being alone. Okay. But I know I need to be alone at times, but thing is, I'm too afraid already from that point because when I was young, no one was there for me. And that's why I'm always out there trying to be social, trying to be more happy, trying to like be friendly and get people to know who I am. Yeah. And it works. Like People saw me as a happy, joyful guy. But in reality, under all that mask, I'm really depressed, you know? And then every time I fully put my heart into someone, it just ends up them leaving, so it's rough. <laughs> I mean, do you remind yourself on like why you're still here? You know, like you. Have, yeah. Uh, I don't know your full story, but mm-hmm. just from what you told me, like you're still here. You're still a strong person. Yeah. Um. Well, the reason why I remind myself was basically. Four years ago, um, I was at that point where I just wanted to kill myself. So I already got to that point. Mm -hmm. I was already in the ER, or I was already suffering. I was in my classroom in North Carolina as my Marine Corps job. Mm -hmm. I went there. Something hit me. Like it was like I was like being all depressed because I didn't want to join the Marine Corps. I did it. For my family's sake, or to prove people wrong, which is entirely you should never do that with yourself. That I found found out with the father that I talked to, the priest in North Carolina. But the main reason why I joined the Marine Corps was my family told me I'm going nowhere in life. You're nothing, and that you can't do anything. And then I have friends not believing in me, backstabbing me. So I was at the point where I'm like really angry at myself, like, wh- why can't I do anything? And, like, I slack in school, honestly. I can't do school. I suck at studying. 
I mean, I try to get better at it. Just having no one to teach me and guide me when growing up, it was kind of rough, and I just wanted to make friends. That's what I want to do in school, because I wanted school to be like my safe zone, you know? And then moving forward, I was so angry, I told myself, you know what, I'm just going to join the military. I picked Marine Corps because they were the hardest branch. And every, everyone know they were like badass. They're front line first to fight. I was like, I'm going to do it. I did it. First, I went to boot camp. My parents, my mom didn't believe that I actually signed up. And then she's like telling me like, you can't finish it. You can't finish boot camp. I was like, yeah, I can. Then I left, did boot camp, and I made it, finished. Then I was like somewhat happy, but not happy at all at the same time. And then I went to my Marine combat training to going to North Carolina, where I wanted to end it myself. And the priest told me, like, you, jo you joined the hardest branch, like no one else could join the Marine Corps. Like, you don't see a lot of Filipinos joining Marine Corps. They're mostly in the Navy and all that. Like, I chose the hardest route because I wanted to be different. But he told me in the end, like, is that what you wanted to do or you just want to do it for other people? So that kind of hit me. Like, because it wasn't me, but I came to realize I didn't like the Marine Corps after a while because people there are more genuine. So they were like, being part of my family. So, it's just, the main point is, like, I try to remind myself that other people is there for me. Like, I know other people are looking up to me, trying to be successful, and that's why I don't quit. So that's my main reason why I keep pushing. I try pushing for myself, but every time I push on myself, I always tend to think negative because of everyone who treated me wrong and how I grew up. Yeah. You know, we're kind of similar. I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody goes through their own struggles. Mm -hmm. it's, it's up to them to like, push themselves back up. Yeah. And I believe in that. You're a strong person for me to put it this far in my head. Like, honestly, it's just crazy. You know, you gotta be independent on your own. But I don't have the exact answers to like. Oh, it's fine. That's just mending us. Really help, helping me. I'm sorry. It's just like the only thing I can think like as an advice is just to like, keep reminding yourself. Keep reminding yourself of like why you're still. Mm-hmm. Very strong person. Main reason is to show my brother who was up there, because my brother got murdered when I was in sophomore year. I keep telling him that, or showing all my family who's in heaven that I can do it. They're my main reason why I push myself. So that's truly my main reason and other people around me. So yeah. I want to give hope, hopes to people that they can do it too. If I, if I quit now, other people would quit on themselves. So, yeah, that's my main re goal, motivate people, show them that there is light, even though how hard it gets. I, I already know I'm like at a downhill right now, but I know like I'll pick myself up, like it's just how I am, because I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to do something really bad or like hurt myself, you know? So yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. That's my story. Not fully, but it's part. It's a <laughs> <laughs> Where'd Jay Song go? You just need to